Now we get underway with heat number three for Junior Road Tax. It's groups A versus C. Here is your starting grid. Pole position, it's going to be the 244 of Kenzo Craigie. Alongside him on the front row will be Archie Clark. Alberto Kiko Fracassi and Thomas Ingram Hill round out row two, with Harrison Whitaker and Joshua Smith comprising row three. Row four is Jacob Woods and Adam Wooden rounding out the top ten. It's Bolowet from Belgium and the UK's Adas Majalskis. Thomas Behrman and Almond Hamilton ran out row six ahead of row seven, which is Cameron Nelson and Tay Stevens. Oliver Majewski and Boris Maximov ran out row eight ahead of Zain El Homosani and Olivier Yonkers. With Senior Pez Ornball and Kasper Nissen, the two Danes rounding out the top 20. Trinidad and Tobago's Naomi Garcia will be joined on the uh, last row of the grid, comprising 22 drivers, courtesy of Estonia's Karl Kriston Tukro. So now the drivers go on to their official formation lap. Ahead of seven minutes plus one lap of racing here at Paul Fletcher International. has been in operation since 1994. So two heats completed so far for Junior Rotax. Another another one after this and then we get towards the final third of heat stay each of the junior road tax drivers will compete in three heats and thereby after that we will determine the ranking after the heats to put us into the final throws of tomorrow's final race day of the 2023 road tax max challenge euro trophy season here at the home of british karting at paul fletcher international some drivers weaving from side to side, including the driver that will be on the outside of the front row, Archie Clark, rallying history very much in that young man's pedigree through his grandfather. It's now the drivers being told by the marshalling crew here that, uh, that help Trent Valley Kart Club host their meetings on a monthly basis. And they have done a spectacular job so far. So kudos to the men and women in orange around the circuit here at Paul Fletcher International for their invaluable help for this meeting to go ahead. So the drivers now steal themselves. They are ready for battle as the red lights are on the gantry. Into the tram lines. Revs rise. Are we ready? Are we steady? The lights go out first time. And we roar our way through into the Bruno Ferrari. S is mounting the curbs. Goes Kenzo Craigie to keep himself in front of Archie Clark as they head up the hill for the first time. Side by side towards the majority of the field from the mid pack backwards. And Craigie still holding on to the race lead. Oh, someone going a little bit wide, nearly comes into the path of one of the RS competition drivers. Might have been Casper Nissen out of turn four off of the Litchfield Bridge. Nearly three abreast, a little bit further back. Zainel Homosani getting up the inside of Naomi Garcia through the second hairpin. But Kenzo Craigie leads the way. Archie Clark hot on his heels through the Fullerton S's on the opening lap in this seven minute plus one lap exchange. A little bit of a tighter line taken into the Mike Wilson complex by the 247 from KR Sport. The young man from Leicester trying to close in to Kenzo Craigie, who has already picked up a race win. A little bit of a run wide there by Alberto Kiko Fracassi coming out of the final corner. Joshua Smith closing in on Thomas Ingram Hill for fourth place. Up the hill they go again, and this time Kiko Fracassi gets up the inside of Archie Clark, who instantly counter-attacks and gets back through for second position as they made their way onto the Litchfield Bridge. The 2.47 getting past the 2.76. Thomas Behrman leading the second part of the train is Fracassi up the inside again on Archie Clark. Clark this time has to relinquish second position, but holds firm and holds station in third. Behind him, he's got the 2 1 2 of Armand Hamilton. And Hamilton started on the outside of row number six. So the drivers now making their way through into the right hander of Bobby Game Corner. Kenzo Craigie. Starting to pull away at the sharp end of the field as they come out of the final corner. Lap two in the books right now. Fastest lap of the race. Kenzo Craigie, 58.536. Now Thomas Behrman, now up into 10th position, 58.099. So over the bridge they go once again and down the hill in towards the first...
the first of the two hairpins here at P Paul Fletcher International. And oh, a little bit of a skirmish happening, a little bit further back. Looks like Thomas Ingram Hill has lost a couple of positions. Joshua Smith from Project One Racing is also in the mix there. So around about fifth place backwards. Kenzo Craig, he's starting to extend that lead. It was just under half a second ahead of Alberto Kiko Fracassi, who has got Archie Clark. Norman Hamilton chasing him down. They go through the Bruno Ferrari S's. And still, Kenzo Craigie has just under a six-tenth of a second advantage at the front end of the field. Looks to be a very... Well, there we go. Changes do happen. You make a mistake coming off of the Litchfield Bridge, and that's exactly what's happened to Kiko Fracassi. He's lost places to Archie Clark and Armand Hamilton in the number 212. Uh, Youngster from Hungary by weight of Australia. Father's Hungarian. And uh, Ahmed has been doing a lot of racing, not just in the Euro Trophy, the BNL Karting Series, but has also been taking part in the Motorsport UK British Kart Championships this season. Craigie's lead has now expanded. It's nearly doubled after just one lap. Was nearly t six tenths last time around. It was just over 1.1 seconds after the fourth lap of racing. We're now getting into real fast-paced racing in terms of laps being set by the drivers. Kenzo Craigie, 57.946. Thomas Behrman, new fastest lap, 57.804. Shades of his brother. Not having a good qualifying. I remember Val D'Argentin, he had a school exam, missed qualifying, and still came flying back through the field. And I still remember Dan Ashton, you will remember this one. Oliver Behrman, alongside Jamie Day at the back row of the grid in a junior race at Cartmasters in 2019, started stone dead last and finished fourth. And Henry Baudet, you're going to get a shout out now, saying he's got absolutely no right to be uh, with the words uttered by the uh, pragmatic Welshman. That Armin Hamilton, majority of the race season, I've seen in a, in a white race helmet now. He's got an identity with that new race helmet of his, and it looks quite nice as well. We've got just under two minutes to go on the timer. Kenzo Craigie has pretty much checked out. But the battle for third, fourth, and uh, second, third, and fourth really raging on. Hamilton gets passed by Fracassi into hairpin number one. Good showing by Joshua Smith, keeping Thomas Ingram Hill at bay, but along with that, keeping pace with those in front. Hamilton launches it up the inside of the Fullerton S's on Fracassi to retake third place. Now that's given the opportunity for Archie Clark to put some daylight between himself and the driver behind. It's about four to five cart lengths between the 247 from the UK and the 212 from Hungary. Three laps to transpire as we were just over a minute and nine seconds as Kenzo Craigie crossed the line after lap number six. His lead now is just over 1.2 seconds. Two by two, hurrah for third and fifth at the same time, coming up towards the Litchfield Bridge. And Thomas Behrman is having to battle away with the uh, more than like, well, I'm just keeping an eye on who Thomas Behrman has got with him. It could be Joshua Smith. Back again through into the Fullerton S's. Craigie has not really had to look back or be troubled by those behind, including Archie Clark, who still runs a very good second. Fracassi in third. Two more laps remain as our race leader comes out of the final corner and down the start finish straight. The 2.44 of Kenzo Craigie leads. What's the gap between him and Archie Clark? It's nearly 1.4. 1.4 seconds as the timer will now expire as Kenzo Craigie crests the hill and heads into the left-hander onto the Litchfield Bridge. The timer has now officially expired. Now they head down into the first hairpin for the final time. Behind Archie Clark, it's all starting to kick off a little bit here because 
Thomas Ingram Hill has got through. There's Thomas Behrman right up the inside of Armand Hamilton through hairpin number two. Hamilton fights back. Behrman, get, Behrman gives him a little bit of a squeeze. Hamilton still gets through. Behrman off the circuit of the Fullerton S's runs wide onto the grass. And luckily enough, Joshua Smith manages to get out of the way in avoidance. And out of the final corner, last lap board is out. One more tour to go. Kenzo Craigie has a 1.6 second lead over Archie Clark. But there goes the 2-2-8 of Thomas Ingram Hill with an absolute head of steam past Alberto Kiko Fracassi as if the Italian was standing still on the start finish straight for third place. But that battle is not quite over yet. Fracassi to the left, Ingram Hill to the right into the first hairpin. The 2-2-8 from the UK holds his ground. The Italian looking to fight back and get the opportunity to put one through on the Dan Holland racing driver. Gets a better carry coming out of the second hairpin. But look at the run of speed that Armand Hamilton's got. Back through the full of Tedesas for the final time. There's more skirmishes down towards the back end of the field. But in the meantime, the chequered flag is being prepared because out of the Mike Wilson complex for the final time here on lap number nine, it's Kenzo Craigie that wins again. The 2.44 from Argenti Motorsport wins by nearly two seconds. Ahead of Archie Clark, Thomas Ingram Hill triumphs in the battle for third place ahead of Alberto Kiko Fracassi, Armand Hamilton, to uh, Joshua Smith, Thomas Behrman, and we have had a couple of, we're having a couple of uh, changes post race at uh, 203 and 277. Uh, Senior Pez on ball gets a time penalty for pushing. So does Jacob Woods. But Kenzo Craigie, Archie Clark, and Thomas Ingram Hill make it a top three lockout for the Brits in this race. Alberto Kiko Fracassi was leading the race at one point. Armand Hamilton, through his two cents into the ring, ended up fifth ahead of Joshua Smith, Thomas Behrman. Tay Stevens, Adas Mijowskis, and Adam Wooden rounding out the top 10. Boaz Maximov, Harrison Whittakam, Cameron Nelson, Olivia Yonkers, Zain El Homosani, Bolowetz, Carl Christon Tokru uh, finished in at 17th ahead of Casper Nissen, Naomi Garcia, Jacob Woods, Oliver Majewski, and Senior Pez Ombol rounding out the grid.